we just got a MacBook Air. This is probably a 2014, 2015. Customer said the fan is always up very high and the computer is very slow. So the first thing I want to check is if it's kernel task that's causing the computer to slow down. We do not know as of now if this is a software issue or this is a hardware issue or uh, maybe the computer is not seeing the mouse, it's not seeing the keyboard. Why the fan is always up? Right now I do not hear... Oh yeah. Fan is speeding up. Uh, it looks like it's taken longer than usual to boot up. It should be fairly quick. Yeah, it's taken a while to boot up. There's something going on. Now, on the MacBook Airs, if you do not have the mouse attached, you do not have the keyboard attached, then the fan is going to go up high and it's going to cause it to slow down like this. But I do see that the touchpad is working. No problem. And customer did give us the password, so... Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Yeah, fan is full speed. Full speed fan. Let's log in. Check activity monitor. I mean, the keyboard is working. I entered the password and the keyboard is working. Touchpad is working, so we can eliminate those two. A software is very unlikely that it will cause this issue. It probably has to do something with current sensing or current sense on the motherboard. But let me just take a look at kernel tasks and see what's going on. CPU is currently 29% idle, so something is using the CPU and it's kernel task. I mean, if you look here, kernel task is all the way up here. Kernel task is using the CPU and the CPU is currently being used 80%. That's, there's something going on with the logic board. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is take the logic board out and we're going to start to inspect a few areas on the board and see if we can figure out why kernel task is jumping all the way up high. Kernel task is using the CPU to its fullest and I can barely do anything on the computer. I click on something, I have to wait. If I try to open a program, it takes a very long time and the mouse doesn't move smoothly. It stutters like, like this. Okay, so we're gonna take the motherboard out and I'll be back. Okay, so the motherboard is out right here. And what I wanna do is test the current sense resistors let me take you over to the circuit diagram and show you what I mean the first thing I want to look at is the PP bus supply and battery charger circuit which is right here I want to test the current sense resistors which are known to cause this issue the resistors should be 10 ohms each and I'm gonna test the resistors on the bottom here one of them is 0 ohms and the other one is 2.2 ohms so I just want to make sure these resistors are good before proceeding to looking at other places on the circuit board. Let's take a look at the U7100 chip right over here. It looks pretty clean. Two ohms and zero ohms should be right over here. So let's test. This one is given zero ohms. And this one is given 2.4 ohms, which is okay. And the other ones, we should have 10 ohms each here. So we have on the meter is showing 10.5, which is good and 10.4 it's good and let's test it down here at the bottom to make sure the trace is good and it looks good but i'm gonna do it anyway 20.4 very good very good so the resistors are good it could be that our isl chip is causing the issue it's directly linked to those resistors and uh, what I do not want to do is spend a lot of time testing all voltages unless we have to. Right now I think I'm gonna 
inspect the board under a thermal cam and see if I see anything obvious. Maybe there's a short somewhere that we can easily fix. So this is the thermal cam right here. And this is our board. I'm gonna plug the charging cable in and monitor the board under the thermal cam. So the cable is plugged in. These are the RAM that power down now. CPU is probably back of the board here. Let me check. Yeah, th that's the CPU, it turned on. That's the hard drive. And the ISL chip is hot right here. ISL chip is very hot. I'm going to start by replacing the ISL chip and see if that will fix our problem. If not, then we'll look at other options. But right now, the only thing I can think of as of now is the ISL chip. And the thermal cam is showing ISL chip being the hottest part on the board. See? Look at this. ISL chip is even hotter than the CPU. Let's go ahead and replace that chip. We'll test. If that solves the problem, great. If not, then we have to start testing voltages and see what's going on. ISL chip is located right over here on back of the board. We're going to start by removing this chip. Let's grab our chip and maybe we can get rid of the glare.
Turkey, so we should be all good. Just one final, one final touch shot. And all we have to do is test. I assembled the board and we're gonna see if we still have high fan speed and if kernel task is still utilizing the CPU. I mean, kernel task is utilizing the CPU in a way where the computer is unresponsive. I'm not hearing any loud fan spin, so. <laughs> So let's take a look at the... Where is that thing? North is fixed. Okay, so the fan is spinning, but uh, it's not spinning high anymore. We're gonna look at activity monitor. And the problem is fixed. <laughs> Problem is fixed. So kernel test is currently at 5.7. It was like three, 400 before. CPU is 89% idle, which is very good. Actually 97% idle, that's awesome. So that's it, it's fixed. Here, I mean, if you look here, we have kernel task at 5.7. We may have to wait and see if kernel task is going to go up, but uh, it usually goes up as soon as we log in. Right now, I do not hear any fan spin. And kernel task is steady. It's not going up. It's currently at 7, which is normal. It just went down. Kernel task is 4. That's it. Awesome. Awesome. So the laptop is fixed. Uh, that's it. Job is done. Replace on the ISL chip fixed the problem. I'm glad it did. I did not have to spend any more time troubleshooting and working on this laptop. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video.